information security is a very complex topic which we will only be able to cover superficially. In general, information security is about preventing unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, inspection, recording or destruction of information. The first part of any security measure is to identify the possible threats to a system. If we look at a generic client-server system, such as we've seen in the past videos, where are the main threats to the system? On the client side, the main risk is that someone tries to gain access to the system by pretending to be a registered user. The attacker would therefore get the same data access as the user he is impersonating. This can be done by guessing or brute forcing the user password, or by tricking the user into giving his password to the attacker. On the server side, we have to worry about the attacker breaking into the server and gaining access to the server's computer itself, which will usually result in the attacker getting access to all the data. Another common and easier way of attacking the server is through denial of service attacks, where the attacker doesn't try to gain access but just tries to make the service unavailable to anyone else. This is typically done by spamming requests to the server in large amounts so as to use all of its resources. Finally, client-server interactions always require a communication channel. If this communication happens through the internet, or if the attacker gains access to the local network, he can inter intercept the communications and gain access to all exchange data. To protect against those threats, we have different tools at our disposal. Against impersonation, we need good, good authentication systems. Against interception of communications, we have en encryption schemes. Against server attacks, we have network security measures, such as firewalls. In these videos, we will talk about authentication and identification using the Belgian electronic ID card, as well as, en as encryption using secured HTTP communications.